Hi everybody, Anand here once again. Our topic for today is sequences and series, primarily arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Now before we deeply get into arithmetic progression or geometric progression, we need to understand the concept of what we mean by a sequence. A sequence in general means it is just a long line of numbers, all of which would satisfy a specific condition. Say, for example, you may have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on and so forth. If you observe in all these, all of this satisfy the condition 2n minus 1, where you take n as 1, all the natural numbers, and you get this, which in short is a set of odd numbers. So, this is a kind of a sequence. You may even have something like uh, 2 raised to n minus 1, a sequence which could be defined by this. So, in that case, you could be getting again 1, 2 raised to 2, uh, 2 raised to 4 minus 1, 3, 2 raised to 3, 8 minus 1, 7, and so on and so forth. 2 raised to 4, that is 16 minus 1, 15. So, this is a different kind of a sequence which is defined by this particular formula. So, any a set of numbers which are arranged in a particular order, all of which satisfy a specific condition, say 2 raised to n minus 1, 2 raised to n minus 1. Let's take something like 3 raised to n. So, in that case, this could be 3, 9, 27, 81, and so on and so forth. So, this is a sequence. So, these are all sequences. Now, Every arithmetic progression, every geometric progression is also a kind of a sequence, but they are very specific kind of sequences. The word progression itself, progression, when you say progression, it means it is either increasing in some form step by step or decreasing in some form step by step then we call it as an, a progression. But there is a difference between an arithmetic progression and a geometric progression. Picture this. Say you have 5, 8, 11, <coughs> 14, 17, 20 and so on and so forth. If you observe over here, every number is 3 more than the previous one. So there is a common difference that exists between consecutive terms. So then we call it as an arithmetic progression. Say you call this as first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term and so on and so forth. If you see T2 minus T1 as well as T3 minus T2 as well as T4 minus T3 as well as t5 minus t4, all these are 3. The difference between any two consecutive, the second term minus the previous term is a constant, so we call it as an arithmetic progression. So, hence, in general, any arithmetic progression is one in which you have, even if you see even something like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, can you guess what the common difference? Yes, there's a series of even numbers. So the common difference D, we call it as D, is given by 2, which means that T2 minus T1, so Tn minus Tn minus 1 is constant. In this case, it is 2. So this kind of a situation we have is called as an arithmetic progression, where consecutive numbers differ by a constant amount. So, obviously, this is not an arithmetic progression. This is an arithmetic progression. This, again, is not an arithmetic progression. On the contrary, you look at a geometric progression. Say you have 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, and so on and so forth. So, here if you see T2 upon T1 as well as T3 upon T2, as well as T4 upon T3, as well as this turns out to be 2. That means here ratio between 
consecutive terms is constant. So this common ratio is given by the name R and the first term is always in whether it's geometric progression or an arithmetic progression. The first term is given by T1 is also called as A. So the basic difference between an arithmetic progression and geometric progression is that in arithmetic progression, there is a common difference that exists between consecutive terms and in geometric progression, there is a common ratio that exists between consecutive terms. So thus we have basic understanding of arithmetic progression and geometric progression. I once again reiterate and stress that arithmetic progression and geometric progressions are also types of sequences but they are specific type of sequences. So our focus is going to be during this entire discussion is going to be arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Now further we will go into the nitty gritties of arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Let us see what we have in store for us. Okay, so as far as what we are planning to cover, we are going to cover what is an AP and GP. I gave you a rough overview. Then we will take up specifically concepts of AP regarding there are a couple of formulae that we will be taking. We will be taking similarly geometric progression. We will be taking what will be the formulae for the nth term. Okay, what is the sum of n terms? Much the same way in a geometric progression also, how we find the nth term, what is the formula for the nth term, sum of n terms. Then we'll be taking a very interesting, if you know AP and GV, which means 80 to 90% of your concepts are clear. But now comes the application of this. You may have a lot of cases wherein you may combine AP and GP concepts together. For example, the given data will be in the form of an AP and you have to prove that some, it is, some part of it is in the form of a GP. Similarly, practical problems about AP and GP, say for example, problems based on installments in daily life and those kind of applications of arithmetic progression and geometric progression will be covered. So this is what we intend to cover during this particular session on arithmetic progression and geometric progression. So why are we waiting? We can start straight away.